two reverse seared porterhouse. This is Big Time Barbecue. Hey, welcome back to Big Time Barbecue. I'm Ryan. And I'm Eric. And today we're doing two reverse seared porterhouse. Now, porterhouse steak is a man's steak because you don't get just one cut of beef, you get two. On the porterhouse here, you get a New York strip on one side and a filet on the other side. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. And we're gonna be doing these, we're gonna be cooking these a little bit different than uh, the traditional, you know, one, two, three, four that you'd get on a, on a steak. We're gonna be reverse searing them. Basically what that means is we're going to bring them up to temperature kind of slow and then at the end we're going to sear them real quick. It's going to be a great day of cooking some steak. Let's do this. When it comes to seasoning steaks, we don't do anything too difficult. We let that natural fat in the steak render and get that nice flavor that we're looking for. So what we're going to be using today is our prototype all-purpose rub. Basically what's in it is a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. There's a little bit of other stuff, but we want you guys to taste that for yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give a light coat here of some of this AP rub on both steaks. Let that salt, pepper work into the meat. We're actually gonna pat this thing down, let it stick. Nothing too complicated, like I said. Steaks are good as they are. We'll get nice charcoal flavoring on the Kamado. It'll be really good. A little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. Get that on there. And then we're gonna let them sit and let some of that salt pull some of that moisture out of the steak. We'll soon get to cooking. So we've got Kamado Joe rolling at about 250 degrees and that is all we need for the reverse sear portion of these steaks. We're going to go ahead and open him up. Remember to burp your Kamado always, it's a good habit to be in. We're going to take these porterhouse, we're just going to put them right here in the grill. And today we're using our Thermal Works dot to make sure we have the right temperature. So we're going to go ahead and take him, take the probe. Stick him right down in there in the loin portion, that New York strip side of the porterhouse. Get him shut, let him get happy. So these steaks have hit about 95 degrees and they're ready to be pulled off while we turn the Kamado up. So we're gonna go ahead and burp him and pull these porterhouse steaks off the grill temporarily sit and rest while we open the Kamado up and get him nice and hot. Close the Kamado down, we're going to open up the very top lid all the way open and then come on down to the bottom and open them up. Get him out to about 550 degrees and throw these steaks back on. Okay, Kamado Joe's roaring at about 550 degrees. It's time to get these steaks back on. So we'll go ahead and burp the Kamado throw these porterhouse right on the grill. Give them about 45 seconds aside. Turn them over. Okay, it's been about a minute. We're gonna go ahead and open Kamado Joe up and give these steaks a turn. Give them another 30 seconds, and we'll flip them over. Okay, it's been another 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and give these porterhouse a flip. Boy, look at those steaks. Nice grill marks. Good hot sear on these steaks. Give them another 45 seconds or so, and they'll be ready for a turn. Okay, it's been another couple minutes, and these porterhouse are done. We're gonna pull them off the grill now. Take a look at that steak. That's a man's steak right there. Take them off, set them in the house, and let them rest. 
So these porter houses have rested for about 10 minutes and that's all I can take. I don't know about you. No, uh, I'm, I'm ready to eat these things right now. So we're gonna take a bite and we're gonna take a look at these for you. I'm gonna cut a side right here off the New York Strip. Boy, look at that, Eric, on that look at That is a perfect medium rare, Ryan. Look at that. Oh, it looks so tender. You can see just the moisture. If you take a look at this, Ryan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my finger in here. Look at that moisture there in that beef. Here, give me that. I'm done looking at it. It's time for a bite. Well, you can't leave a brother out here, Ryan. Gotta have that New York strip. Goodness. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. That's all I can say. Get a bite of that filet. You wanna do the carbon? Yeah, I'll cut this one up here. So just on the other side of this is the filet. Remember, that's the good part about doing a porterhouse. On one side, you get a nice New York strip. And on the other side, a beautiful tender filet. And I mean, look at that. You can just see how tender it is. Ryan, I'm not gonna waste our time. Let's get into this. Yeah, that reverse sear Get process. yourself a fork. That reverse sear process seals in all that flavor and that moisture. Doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. Hey, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting out all kinds of videos about every week or so. Good stuff like this. We got beef on the radar. We got poultry. We got pork. It's going to be a great summer here at Big Time Barbecue. That's right. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned.